Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing the game Coco Loco, which is available on the App Store for 99 cents and is available for both the iPhone and the iPod Touch as well as the iPad. Now, Coco Loco is a very much physics based game. It reminds me a lot of Angry Birds, and I'm reviewing this because uh, Ellie from App Chat actually suggested it. If you don't know who she is, I'll uh, prov provide an annotation somewhere here. You can go check out her channel. She does a lot of great app reviews and stuff like that. But this game reminds me a lot of Angry Birds. There's a lot of physics involved and kind of like slinging birds, but you're really slinging marshmallows. Um, so let's just get right into the game itself. Um, but here you have some options over here, but we're just going to go right into play. Now you get your different worlds whenever you start playing. So if I just back out of this menu right here, you get your different worlds. And this is your first one. And as you complete them, it's just like Angry Birds. You unlock more worlds. And it seems like it has a lot of worlds. It was just updated uh, last month, and it says more coming soon. So this is going to be further updated continuing the, continually in the future. So if you spend your 99 cents, it's going to be worth it. And you're going to get future updates. So if we just go to the first world right here, all your levels pop up. They're nice and colorful levels that actually give you a snapshot of what the level is actually like. So if we just click on the first one. And it provides you with this cutscene that explains to you, you know, what's happened. And you just hit this little button. It explains the story. They all love chocolate but a bunch of them get kidnapped by these bad chocolate guys and you can read the rest of it it's a nice little story that helps explain you know why you're doing what you're doing in the actual game so as you can see right here are the two guys you need to beat as well as save your marshmallow friend so if you beat the guys but don't save your friend it doesn't count if you save your friend but don't beat the guys it doesn't count you have to completely get rid of everybody on the stage so to get rid of all those things such as the bad guys and your marshy friend, you have to fling your marshmallows, which is very similar to Angry Birds. You have this one marshmallow over here who has a baseball bat. If you click on your one that's right here, an arrow comes up, shows where it's going to fly. Um, so you want to collect coins to help you get a better score. So if we just let them go right there. And the physics in that game launched the marshmallow onto that bowl, tipped the bowl, and it floods the stage, destroys the chocolate guys, and saves your marshy friend. So that's basically how the game works. There's a lot of physics involved. And your here's your reward screen, three stars, pretty easy. Then you have Open Faint, Facebook, and your Twitter links. So right there, just go back to the main menu. That's to redo the level, and this is to go to the next one. So here's just another level. This is the second level. Um, so it's a little more complicated. So I'm just going to try to fire the coins up there and get this thing to fall down. And there it goes. And it takes out the force field that's around your marshies. There's kind of like a force field around them that keeps them trapped. I guess the chocolate people have force fields. Um, but they keep your marshy friends trapped. And when you break that force field, they're set free. So let's go to some later levels. There's marshies that are ninjas that fly straight directions. Kind of like the yellow birds and angry birds. There's blue ones that blow up that are kind of like the bomb birds and angry birds. And there's red ones that are jelly that kind of expand really big. Kind of like the orange birds and angry birds seasons. So you can see a lot of similarities to Angry Birds, but and as well, there are big birds here that kind of do the sumo thing where they pound straight from the ground. But as like I said, there's a lot of similarities to Angry Birds, but in this in this game, there's more puzzles. It's not just straight launch something and into a pig. Um, see, like that was a puzzle, kind of like chain reaction stuff. Some of them have moving parts where you have to kind of shoot around stuff. Um, it's very interactive. I don't know if I'd say it's higher difficulty than Angry Birds. It's a different kind of game. Um, it's the same kind of technique, fling stuff at the opponents, but it's like a different playing field. This this map's a little bit more interactive. So as you can see, right here we have our friend trapped in jelly. And to get there, we have to go through these ice things. And there's this pendulum that's in the way. So what you can actually do is use these bomb ones, blow that up. And what you have to do is try to get your ninja down in there before the pendulum comes back. And I didn't make it that time. So some levels actually are pretty hard. You have to kind of think through before you actually launch them. And what you can do is you can also switch the order of what you're shooting. So right now, this is the yellow, or excuse me, the purple one that you have lined up right now, the one that blows up. You can switch that just by pressing that. So now you, can, you have your ninja one lined up first. So you can just change the order of your marshmallows, which is a nice feature as well. So I'm not going to go through all the different kind of marshmallows you can launch or use, but there are a lot, and there's a lot of content in this game, so I definitely think it's worth $0.99. Cents. Um, I looked for it in the App Store, but it's not in the top 25 or even like the top 50. Well, I think it's a great game. I'm not sure how long it's been out, 
Um, like I said, it was recently updated in April, but I think it's a great game, and I would highly suggest it. For 99 cents, you can get it both on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and your iPad. And 99 cents, you can't really get it wrong. It's only a dollar, and this game, I like it because it's not the same as Angry Birds. It's similar, but it's different. Um, it's kind of hard to explain unless you play it, but I would suggest it. Um, you're not going to regret buying it. So if you guys are going to check out Coco Loco, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you already have it, what you think of it, maybe if you're going to pick it up. And don't forget to connect with me on all my social links are on the description below. And make sure you guys tune in for more videos. I have a PC build that's going to be coming up. I'm going to put that in some videos. I have some stuff that got sent in to me from some companies I want to review. So there's going to be a lot of great content coming up. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.